Welcome back to Hollywood USA. Today, we're diving into the world of World War II and exploring some of the most insanely advanced German weapons that you might not have heard of before. From cutting-edge technology to ingenious designs, these weapons pushed the boundaries of warfare during one of the most tumultuous periods in history. So, buckle up and get ready to discover a whole new side of World War II weaponry. But before we jump in, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content like this. Now, let's uncover the top 10 insanely advanced German weapons of World War II. Number 10. The Landkreuzer P-1500 Monster. The Landkreuzer was a colossal artillery piece planned by Nazi Germany during World War II. At 42 meters long and weighing 1500 tons, it boasted 250 millimeters thick armor and four submarine diesel engines. Its armament included the fearsome 800 mm Schwerer Gustav railway gun, alongside two 150 mm howitzers and multiple autocannons. Intended as a self-propelled gun rather than a tank, it could launch devastating shells from a fixed turret, minimizing direct engagement. Despite its formidable design, no prototypes were ever produced, leaving the Landkreuzer as a fascinating but unrealized concept in the annals of military history. Number 9. The Junkers Ju-322 Mammut. The Junkers Ju-322 Mammut, a colossal wooden glider, epitomized German innovation during World War II. With only two prototypes built, it stood as a testament to resourcefulness amidst scarcity, utilizing wood in a time of material shortage. Designed as a heavy transport in 1940, it boasted a remarkable capacity of 20,000 kilograms, capable of carrying significant payloads like tanks and anti-aircraft guns. Its cockpit, positioned to the port side, overlooked the cargo bay, while three MG-15 machine guns provided defensive firepower. Though never mass-produced, the Mammoth remains a symbol of ambitious engineering and the ingenuity of wartime Germany. Number 8. The Sun Gun. The Helio Beam, or Sun Gun, was a fantastical concept born from the minds of German scientists during World War II. Operating from a space station orbiting Earth at a staggering distance of 8,200 kilometers, it would utilize a massive metallic sodium reflector to concentrate the sun's energy onto a target. With a potential to boil oceans or incinerate cities, it represented the epitome of destructive power. Although plans were developed by physicist Hermann Oberth in 1929, post-war claims suggested that the helio beam could have been realized within a decade, showcasing the audacious ambitions of wartime scientific endeavors. Number 7. The Messerschmitt Mi-323 Gigant. The Mi-323, born from the need for a heavy assault glider during World War II, epitomized German engineering prowess. Originally conceived for Operation Sea Lion, its design evolved to support the impending invasion of Russia. Converted from the existing Mi-321, it boasted six engines and metal blade propellers. With a capacity to carry an 88mm gun or a Panzer IV tank, it became the largest land-based transport aircraft of the war. Armed with five machine guns and crewed by a team of pilots, engineers, and gunners, the Mi-323 played a crucial role in the logistical operations of the German military, with 213 units produced. Number 6. The Erodo, Komet, and Schwalb. The Erodo, Komet, and Schwalb stand as distinct contributions to Germany's aviation history during World War II. While the Erodo remains less recognized, the Komet, Messerschmitt Mi-163, soared as a pioneering rocket-powered interceptor, albeit hindered by operational challenges. Meanwhile, the Schwalbe, Messerschmitt Mi-262, marked a milestone as the world's first operational jet-powered fighter, showcasing remarkable speed and firepower. Despite their varying degrees of success, each aircraft exemplifies Germany's relentless pursuit of innovation amidst the tumult of war, leaving a lasting legacy in the annals of aviation history. Number 5. The Ziel Jurat 1229. As early as 1939, German Army introduced the first night vision devices, initially developed by AEG since 1935. 
By WWII's end, around 50 Mark V Panther tanks were equipped, seeing action on eastern and western fronts. The Vampire system was used with STG-44 rifles, weighing 5 pounds and fitted with infrared spotlights. Soldiers, dubbed Night Hunters, carried the gear, including batteries, in a Tragigestal 39. The infrared searchlight emitted light through a filter, invisible to the naked eye. Deployed in February 1945, 310 units were delivered to the Wehrmacht. MG-34 and MG-42 machine guns also incorporated similar infrared technology, enhancing nighttime combat capabilities. Number 4. Fiesler Phi 103R The Fiesler Phi 103R, Reichenberg, was a piloted flying bomb akin to the V-1, designed for suicide missions. Named Leonidas after the Spartan king, it symbolized sacrifice. Only volunteers joined, acknowledging the near-certain death involved. Initially paired with the Messerschmitt Me 328, issues led Hitler to revive the Fiesler project. Consulting with test pilot Hannah Reich, Otto Skorzeny modified the plan, allowing pilots a slight chance of survival. Carried beneath he 111 bombers, they'd steer toward targets, parachuting before impact. Despite its grim purpose, the Fiesler represented a desperate attempt to turn the tide of war in Germany's favor. Number 3. Fletner FL-282 Colibri The Fletner FI-282 Colibri, a single-seat helicopter, initially served in ship-to-ship -ship transfers and reconnaissance. Later adapted for combat with an observer position, it excelled in spotting artillery, particularly in adverse weather conditions. The Air Ministry's plan to mass-produce 1,000 units was thwarted by Allied bombing, resulting in only 24 helicopters before the Munich factory's destruction. Deployed mainly as artillery spotters in Rangsdorf, they faced relentless attacks from Soviet fighters and anti-aircraft guns, leading to the destruction of all surviving hummingbirds, marking a tragic end to their brief but significant wartime service. Number 2. The Vortex Cannon The Vortex gun, devised by Austrian Dr. Zimmermeyer, featured a large mortar barrel embedded in the ground, firing coal dust and slow-burning explosive shells. Inspired by Tornado's ability to down aircraft, it aimed to create artificial tornadoes for aerial defense. Experiments in Tyrol's Laufer labs suggested feasibility, with coal dust explosions triggering tornado-like effects. Yet, doubts lingered over its efficacy in neutralizing planes. A prototype with a 100-meter range was crafted but never saw combat. However, similar weapons were employed against Polish resistance fighters, marking the Vortex gun as a unique but ultimately unrealized concept in aerial warfare. And number one is the Röstel X-4. The X-4, a guided air-to-air -air missile, aimed for mass production using inexpensive materials like wood for fins. Initially tested from a Focke-Wulf FW-190, it later launched from a Messerschmitt Mi-262. Pilots' difficulties in simultaneous flight and missile launch led to its use in multi-seat planes like the Ju-88. Allied bombing hampered production, with potentially 1,000 units made, though never officially issued. Post-war, its design influenced ground-to-air anti-tank missiles like the Malkara. French attempts to replicate it failed due to instability. Despite never seeing combat, the X-4 left a lasting legacy in missile technology development. Thanks for watching our countdown of the top 10 advanced German weapons of World War II. As the war progressed, German engineers pushed the boundaries of technology, delivering powerful weapons that would influence warfare for decades to come. Join us next time for more fascinating insights into the world of military history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.